strawberry sunflower bar is a perfect no-bake on-the-go snack. The bar is soft and creamy and it has crunchy sunflower seeds and rice krispies to make the perfect treat. For this recipe, we will need cocoa butter, which is solid at room temperature, almond flour, Philadelphia cream cheese, rice krispies, and sunflower seeds. The first step in this recipe, we need to melt the cocoa butter in the microwave. It needs to be a liquid consistency. So the first step now is we're going to transfer the cocoa butter into another bowl. The reason why we do this is so we have a larger bowl to mix the rest of the ingredients with. Add in three drops of sweetener. and a half teaspoon of strawberry sugar-free da Vinci. Mix in the almond flour. You can substitute the almond flour with any other nut, such as hazelnut flour, soy flour, However, keep in mind, it will have a different consistency. It might be a little more grittier as opposed to the almond flour. We're going to mix now to form a paste. Stir in the room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese. It must be room temperature in order for it to mix well. Once we have a thoroughly combined mixture, we're now going to add in the Rice Krispies and the sunflower seeds. If you choose to change your carbohydrate from the Rice Krispies, you're more than welcome to. Options such as raspberries and strawberries are great. You may also substitute these sunflower seeds for a different nut, such as macadamia nuts, which is very high in fat, or pecans. Now that we've mixed everything together, we're going to transfer the batter onto a parchment paper covered baking sheet. If you find that while you're transferring it to the baking sheet that the mixture is sticking to your fingers, you can use cold water to dip your fingers in and it will prevent it from sticking. You can form the sunflower bar into a bar shape. You can also use a silicone mold if you choose, which can be fun shapes for children, such as hearts, flowers, bears, etc. Okay, now that we've added the batter onto the parchment paper covered baking sheet, we're gonna place it in the freezer for 20 minutes until serving. If you're serving it right away, just remove it from the freezer. However, if you're storing it for future use, keep it in the freezer. The strawberry sunflower bar is all finished. It was in the freezer for about 20 to 25 minutes. As you can see, it is solid. Since it's made with the cocoa butter, um, that does happen. The cocoa butter can be solid at room temperature. And it's handheld as well. Here's a tasty snack bar for your keto kid. It's perfect for school lunches. However, it needs to be kept cold until serving.